This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Thomas Podiatry and Associates, giving you a foot to stand on. When you think of fun in the summertime, you might think of dipping your toes in the ocean or burying your feet in the sand as you read a good book. Maybe as a kid, you enjoyed running through the grass in your bare feet. It all sounds delightful, but summertime can be more like frightful when it comes to foot health. And this time of year, maybe when you notice some issues with your feet that could mean a visit to Thomas Podiatry and Associates. Summertime and the living is easy, but for your feet, it can be hard times. I think a lot of people when summer is here, we tend to get a little more relaxed with the type of shoes we wear. Dr. Kevin Thomas of Thomas Podiatry and Associates says this is the time of year they see foot problems that can be blamed on the casual lifestyle of summer. Um, we go to sandals, flip-flops, things with low to no support, or even barefoot. That can spell trouble. And this summer, the pandemic left people home and for the most part, shoeless. Well, I think people are doing a lot of stuff in their yards. Uh, we've had a lot, of, we see a lot of patients now coming in saying, I've been working outside, I'm in my yard. And as wonderful a feeling the cool grass between your toes on a warm summer evening can be, it can also be detrimental to your dog. Well, remember your yard is grass, it's soil. That's where bacteria, fungus, mold, viruses all live. Same stuff Dr. Thomas points to issues acid. such as planter wart. Wart is a virus. A virus is in the environment, it's everywhere. It's in the dirt, it's in the soil, it's in the sand, it's on the pool, it's in the beach, it's everywhere. But he says that doesn't mean everyone will get warts on their feet. Thousands of people walk barefoot over through that the beach every day or through a public pool. Not all of them get a wart, they're walking through the virus, but some people, their body has an affinity or attraction to that wart. The wart grabs onto their body and it sticks there. And a couple weeks later, they get a little blister-like thing or a little wart in the bottom of their feet and unfortunately it happens quite often. Dr. Thomas says warts can be easily treated with topical medication or removed in the office. We can burn them, we can freeze them, we can cut them out, um, but we definitely prefer to use some topical acids first. Our favorite summery surfaces can also expose bare feet to fungus. Fungal infections is what it can either be in the skin, which would be quote unquote athlete's foot, which is itching, burning in the feet. And again, fungus is just the same as a bacteria, a bacteria virus. It lives in the ground. It's in the moist, damp areas. We get it on our feet. And sometimes athlete's foot's very easily treated with creams, lotions, etc. But sometimes that same fungus that's in the skin can then get into the nails. And that's when we get the discolored, thick, yellow, brownish nails. And that's a little more challenging to treat, but it can be treated. Summertime sands foot protection can obviously lead to little cuts or splinters that seem minor, but if they get infected, well, that can turn into a bigger, more serious problem. Most of the time, if they're treated early enough, things can be alleviated very quickly and very simply. But a lot of people tend to stay at home and they tend to self-treat. And a lot of times what they think is doing good for themselves actually can be making things worse. That's especially the case for anyone who has a more serious condition like peripheral arterial disease, peripheral vascular disease, or diabetes. And we've seen many, many people that have just a small open sore, a blister, a small little nuance that they think, oh, no big deal, it'll heal right up. Unfortunately, if your body doesn't have the capacity to heal, it can worsen very, very quickly. Maybe you're wrapping up the summer with small aches and pains in your feet. Dr. Thomas says it could be the result of wearing shoes with little or no support. So people that have structural issues and need support, for instance, the people that normally wear supportive shoes or orthotics or inserts, and they suddenly go barefoot or wearing, you know, sub-quality, subpar um, flip-flops, can start to exasperate previous existing problems. He says the solution is simple, wear supportive shoes. But if you can't resist getting in some barefoot time or wearing those favorite cute little sandals, strengthening therapies for your feet may be in order. And Dr. Thomas says obviously prevention is best, but if you do find an unusual spot or lesion on your foot or if you have pain, it's best to get it checked out.